So let's start with the full 360 degree view of the CLP 635. This video will give you the angles and the close-ups that you won't necessarily get in the brochures and on the website. We're going to go around the side here, see how narrow it is. In fact, it's very, very flat on the back as well. Notice that, how flat it is. Designed to go right up against a wall and not take up very much space. Of course, on the top they don't need as much room as you saw on traditional pianos because there's no iron frame and no strings in there. Of course, nothing to go out of tune. Check out the ePianos website for the latest deals and offers on Yamaha digital pianos and keyboards. Also check out our huge selection of pre-owned stock and come and visit us in our showroom here in Banbury, just off Junction 11. So first thing I want to show you here is the, the lid or the fool as they're sometimes called. Um, this is where it comes out, look, covers up the keys. And the idea, of course, is to keep the dust off of the keys, but more importantly, to keep it the dust from going in between the keys, which might cause problems with the electronics. I mean, you know, it's, it's not something that we've ever heard of happening, but it just makes sense to keep the dust off these things. Um, and the construction of it's pretty solid, it goes along these rails, look, and it feels to me like it's very, very solid and it fits nicely at the top there and clunks into place with that sort of reassuring clunking noise. It doesn't feel like it's going to fall down while you're playing either. In fact, you can see the groove just there. The control panel you'll see down on the left-hand side here um, where we do all of the changes to the voices and the um, backings and the recording. Um, other videos cover exactly what we can do with this, but just want to give you a really close-up look of it. The buttons on here feel nice and solid, and we've got an LED screen there, which is uh, really, really nice and clear and easy to see. Um, so that's the control panel. Over on this side, we have the uh, on and off button and the master volume as well. The model name just there. Uh, on and off switch. It's not as simple as just pressing it once and it goes off. It's got quite a nice little design where you actually have to hold it down for a couple of seconds to turn it off. That's just to stop you accidentally turning it off in the middle of a performance. Um, while we're here looking at this particular bit, I want to talk about the finish of this piano. This is the black walnut finish, which is probably the most popular color that we sell this particular model in. And you'll notice on the website, if you've done a bit of research, that the polished finishes. The polished ebony's are about £400 more expensive. Um, the other colours that are cheaper, including this one, the black walnut, have a veneer. And I'm really going to get close in here so you can see where the veneer joins and you can see the grain. Okay, so it looks very, very good. As you can see at the top here, if I come around the side you can see where it joins as well. It looks good and it is quite different though to the polished finish. So I've got the polished one just over here. Look at the edge of this, this is a 709 with the same finish and you see there's no join whatsoever on the edge there. So that's what you get, you're seeing all the dust now, look I've come so close to it, but it's nice and smooth. 52 layers of polished ebony lacquer, that is why it costs a bit more because it has that more premium finish to it. But the, um, and I'll give you a wider shot here, the uh, walnut finish and the other finishes that use the veneer uh, satin finishes are still really good looking things but that's why you pay the extra for the polished finish because it is really really nice. Yamaha logo you can see there bang in the middle in that classic place just like their upright pianos and their grand pianos. Going down below the piano here we've got the controls we've got the on and off um, light here indicating whether it's on or off and the first thing we see underneath here is the um, headphone hanger. A really nice touch by Yamaha. Of course so many people now play the pianos while they're using headphones that when you take them off you've got nowhere to put them. That's why Yamaha have put on the headphone hanger just here. And on the interfaces we've got USB to device, USB to host, an auxiliary input and interestingly we've got two headphone sockets. That's because you can actually play with two headphones plugged in at the same time. So if you've got a duet, you want to play a duet, or there's two people practicing at the same time, playing a duet, or a teacher and a student, or whatever, you can have two sets of headphones plugged in at the same time. The auxiliary input just here, quarter inch jack, 
allows you to put in any audio device that you've got um, just using a cable, so nice and simple. Um, also underneath here we've got some extra inputs as well and I'll just flip the image around so you can read it but what we've got here are the traditional five pin a few cobwebs down here um, traditional five pin MIDI in and out sockets we've got two auxiliary outs as well so you can go out to extra speakers too and that is the cable that connects the um, pedals to the top section. Uh, notice if you're thinking about constructing one of these yourself, which most people do, there is only two cables you've got to worry about. There's this one that goes from the top of the piano to the bottom where the pedals are, and there's one down here which is just the power cable. That's all there is. Construction of these things is so, so easy. In fact, while we're on the underneath, let's come over to this side. Um, the top section of the piano is, is already built. But the legs, as you can see, the feet, these are the bits that you have to construct yourself. So what you do is you just screw together the legs and the back panel. It's going to come out and make sure we can focus a bit better. Now the top section, that entire top section that you see, this bit along here, is already made. But in the box you'll find the two side panels on the legs. Uh, the bit that goes along the bottom with the pedals connected and the back panel. You simply screw those together and then lift up the top section and plop it down on top, plug in those two cables that I've just shown you and that's it. doesn't need tuning or anything like that, you just plug it in and go. Now um, back to underneath, I'll show you where the screws are. What you have underneath is, look at the back. There's one screw there, there's, sorry about the lighting conditions here, one screw there, and there's one screw there. So you can see here, here, and here. This is repeated at the other end. By the way, if you ever want to get the serial number, it's on that silver sticker just there. These three screws there. That is all that connects the top to the bottom in terms of screws. And when you're building the piano, um, up, I bring you around this side to connect the uh, the back panel. There's just screws on the back here. One, two, three, four, five, six, around the edge. Um, very, very straightforward. The back panel here is quite thin, but it's pretty sturdy. And that chamber, by the way, underneath, is not just there to swing your legs around in, it does have acoustic properties to it too. Very important. So when you're playing, not only do you have those downward facing speakers that you can see, one there, one over on the other side, they get push the sound down into this cavity, which then pushes it out towards you, the player, giving you a realistic sound from the player's perspective. Of course, you've got the three pedals down here as well. You've got the uh, accelerator, the brake and the clutch, not really. They are of course the sustain pedal, the sostenuto and the dampener pedal down there as well. Now let's get really close in and see. Um, little details from Yamaha, they always do a great job with these things. Of course we've got the padding up here so the sound when the pedal returns is nice and soft. It's not going to uh, disturb you or make an annoying clicking noise or anything like that. These pedals themselves are solid and metal, feel very, very tough, like they're gonna last now. And certainly not plastic, like you might see on some other models. And further bit of detail, just under here, you've got a little device that will allow you, depending on the depth of your shag, to lower down, let me just try and focus on it here. If this device will let me. There you go. You can screw this around until it digs deep into <clears throat> your carpet because um, this entire panel from left to right, of course, is raised and you're stepping on it with your feet. So you don't want it to um, sag in the middle at all under the pressure of your feet. So that little device down there will allow you to lower it down and stop the whole thing from getting compressed and possibly bending. Um, so that's, a, again, 
uh, born of experience with the Yamaha, very good of them to do that. And again, it makes the whole thing more robust and tougher and built to last like everything that Yamaha do. Now that music rest that you see on top, um, quite thoughtfully, Yamaha have put on these little music clips to stop music books from folding in on themselves, stop the pages folding in on themselves. They can be pushed up and down and also the music rest itself. Let's have a really good look at that. It's really, really straightforward. It's just two of these. Lift them up and you can fold it down. So the, the actual uh, music rest itself is screwed into the top, but you can lower it and have it like that. People that don't read music or have any need for it often have the piano like that. And you can put a flower pot on it, family picture or whatever you want. And to put it back up, it's just a case of doing that. Look, put those down, back it goes in place. So I hope that's been useful to you. Do check out our other videos, our comparisons, our demonstrations and our reviews. And for now, that's bye-bye from us.